I like looking for plant pots because I'm always looking for new ones. I have another pot that I think I'm going to get. It's so good. I don't have the plant for it, but I love the design of it. So I'm going to get it. Hey y'all. Just sharing what I wore. Listen, these sorrel um, shoes, <laughs> these are my favorite shoes. They keep my foot warm. They keep my foot warm and they're so easy to just slip my feet in because they're completely covered in. I love them. These are what I call my weekend shoes because when I'm running errands, I just slip them on. Put on my socks if it's extra cold. If it's not too cold. I don't wear socks. These sunglasses, I have no links to, I have no clue where they're from. Like originally, sorry, because I got them from a thrift store. I got them from Buffalo Exchange. These and a pair that is also orange. I love them so much. When I went to the store and I saw them, they had them in this color, the orange and the black, but I only picked up the colored ones. I wish I'd taken the black now. They're so good. And I think I got them for like $9. Denim is so easy, guys. So I got this oversized shirt. This is actually Jay's own. He gave it to me. He felt like it wasn't, you know, needed in his closet anymore. And these pair of jeans. I got these from Delamoda NYC. That brand is no longer around. It's a black owned brand. <laughs> guys, these are my favorite almond milk. I started ordering these off of Amazon. So the box comes with six. They are 100% organic. The only thing they have is water, almonds, and salt. I would always buy from like the store. And there was just a bunch of stuff that were in those milk. Other stuff that I don't want in my almond milk. The oil and whatever other names I couldn't pronounce, y'all. Like I just was like, uh -uh. And I first realized it, because I, I just took it for granted that, oh, it's almond milk, so it's made with 100% almonds, right? Took it for granted. Not realizing that these people were adding gum, adding the oils and different things to or, to stretch it. So it says here, no gums, no oils, no fillers. That's what these others were do, are doing, the brands that I usually use. I'm not even going to call their brands, but you guys know the popular brands that sell in store right i'm not gonna call out any names but yeah no more no more of those this is the one i'm going to order from now on Moala organic i think i probably have this tagged or something like i think i probably have it linked in my amazon storefront um i um i think this is probably my first time coming on all week i feel like it maybe then again maybe i came on on sunday i think i did Oh, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. I'm so tired. I've been doing so much lately. I've been so busy. Oh, my God. You know the saying? Be careful what you wish for or pray for or ask for. It just might happen. That's what happened to me, y'all. I, I pray that I would get more work this this year. I pray that, you know, that my content creating would not be in vain, that people would love it, appreciate it, and that's what's happening, y'all. I don't approach brands, they approach me. And I don't say that in a boastful way. It's just what it is. And lately, 
I need someone to help me with my emails because trust me, I, I am going to miss some of these brands that reach out because I almost missed one yesterday. Some of my emails go weird places like if you know how Gmail is set up, you'll get your inbox, like your primary email, and you'll get your social email, and you'll get, I guess, ads or something. But that one went to my ads, and I'm like, so how many more did that? Like, how many more went in that section that I missed? You never know. You just never know. But anyhow, I'm about to go work out, y'all. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Better Me outfit. I love their workout wear. I love it so much. I have three or four of them. Three or four sets. And when I first got them, I would wash them every day. Because I wanted to wear them again. But I haven't been doing that. But once I get them back from the laundry, I'm excited to wear them again. I love these sets. This is my favorite one. It's my absolute favorite one. It fits like a dream. Let me tell you, the fabric just feels soft and smooth like butter. But still holds me very good. Don't move too much. Yeah, this one is my best fitting one. The top fits really good, the bottom fits really good. Guys, April 2nd, it's raining heavily. And it feels like winter again, like we're back in our full winter gear. I had a dream once, I kept it close. Seems so important to have it all then I used to believe that I needed to be someone To actually be someone Everyone else seemed to get it right But now I'm the cool kid, all weird Not chasing superficial things, that's clear Ooh, I've got cool friends, they trends They always see through them That's why I am rich Though I got no money, no, no, no I am rich Isn't it funny, oh, oh, oh Looking back, all I see is signs Chasing superficial things, that's clear Ooh, I've got cool friends, they trends They always see through them That's why I am rich Though I got no money, no, 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 no I am rich Isn't it funny, oh, oh, oh I'm here looking for a new wallet, or rather a wallet to replace the current one that I have. It broke. I had that Chanel wallet for about 12 or more years. And when I purchased it, it was pre-owned. So it had quite some years on it already. But when I got it, it was in great condition. So I am looking to replace it with another, something that's very similar in size, because I really love the size of my wallet. But I'm not really finding too many choices here. So this Parenza shoulder, that's the size of the wallet I want. I want something very small. I kept looking and eventually I did find one by Louis Vuitton that was the perfect size and very good quality. So I got that and then continued to browse Century 21 for a bit more. I love traveling, so I'm always looking at suitcases. <laughs> I don't need one, but here I am checking out what they have. I'm currently looking for one. I think the brand is Birdie. But that suitcase is so expensive. I'll try to insert a, a photo or a video of what they look like. They're around and they're so beautiful, but they're expensive. Why do I end up like this? Waiting by the phone like 
You'll notice that I am looking at summer pieces because I feel like spring doesn't last very long so the things that I currently have in my wardrobe for spring are good enough for me. Instead I'm looking for more summer pieces, vacation pieces because I find that that is what I wear the most. I found this brown piece quite interesting but couldn't quite figure out what it was. I think it may have been a dress or a skirt. I wanted to love the two of these. I really did. But the top was too big, so was the bottom, and then it just, just wasn't flattering in my opinion. The shape of the skirt. It looked really good on the hanger though. I kept trying to create shape with the skirt by pulling out the hips, but it just kept falling flat. The bikini top was way too small. I picked up a large and it was still too small. These pants fit me so good, but $294. I was not shelling out for these pants. As much as I love them, I think that I could find something similar for a more affordable price. Alright guys, had a long evening trying on stuff in Century 21 and unfortunately nothing really fit the way I wanted them to. Either too small or the boobage was just too much. <laughs> so I couldn't, yeah, I showed you guys what I could and there's just some things I just couldn't show you. One of the bikinis that was in a, there was a bikini that I tried on that was in my skin tone like that beautiful brown. I liked it. But I still feel like they should have had a little bit more covered at the top. But unfortunately, these things are made generic. Unfortunately, I needed a little bit more fabric on the top in order for me to say yes. So no, long day. I did um, pick up some things for Jay. I found some really cool things that I thought that he would like. So hopefully those things fit him. But we'll see. I'm going to show you a few things that I got in today. I also went to Century 21 and picked up something that I really wanted. I will share that with you. It's a luxury item. I had a wallet that I loved, a Chanel wallet. I've had that wallet for maybe 12 years. When I purchased it from the Real Real, so it was pre-owned, but it was in a really good condition. Lambskin, a very beautiful green wallet. Let, let me get the wallet for and show you guys. So this is the wallet. I really loved how they placed the CC logo on the side. It's kind of like there, but not a full logo. I also loved, th this is one of my favorite colors. This kind of green, this army green, military green. Some people call it khaki. It's, I love it. So the wallet was the perfect size and it has, well, I'm not even going to show you in there because... It's the most is going on inside there right now. But it has a lot of compartments. It has more than one section for your cards. It has one, two, three other compartments plus a zipper section. Very compact. It holds everything that I need on a daily basis. In fact, most times I don't even use. <laughs> Honestly, most times I do not use my wallet. These days, because of Apple Pay, I seldom pull out my, my wallet. So the fastener that holds it together came apart. 
now it's like they're just stuck together at the top. I feel like it can be fixed, but I'll look into that later. But this this wallet has gone through it. It's really gone through it. So I, I really don't know. It's a beautiful wallet, guys. I really lo loved it. And I would not have changed it had not for this happening. Despite it looking like a hot mess. Because I've had it for such a long time, you can see a lot of wear and tear around the edges. But that's okay. I loved this wallet. By the way, don't look at my my nails are, are a mess right now. Some of my press-ons came off. I replaced it with this Louis Vuitton wallet. Now this is my first, if I'm not mistaken, anything from Louis Vuitton. There weren't a whole lot of choices for the style that I wanted. And I wanted something that was similar to the wallet that I had before because I do not like the big wallets. I like something that I can just grab and hold in my hand very easily. Oops. I like a wallet that I can hold in my hand easily. One that can also slip into one of my pockets, like especially my coat pockets easily. And no one can notice it, no one can see it. So it has to be a certain size. I saw this and I saw another one by Proenza Schuler, and to me the Proenza Schuler one was kind of like looking like a kid's purse. I, I had just one zipper on the outside. It was like a literally what I would call a purse, a, a pouch that has a zipper and had one section inside that you can slide a card in it. But other than that, it was just opened like you can you could open it like how a, a purse would open. But there was no other slots, just that. and. It was probably like a quarter of the price of this wallet. I could have totally taken that one, but I didn't like the color of it. I don't remember if I filmed that part, but it was like a green, a bright green. So outside of that Proenza Schuller one, this was the only other wallet that was close to what I wanted. Everything else was either too big or there were the, or there was just the card holders. And I mean, the card holders have their place. But I always feel like I need something that I can close and zip up. I can place money in, like stuff like that. So I wanted something that I could still put money in, still have a place on my cars. And if possible, if I had change, which is something that it's almost not seen anymore. <laughs> at least I'll have a place to put the change as well. I love the wallet. So it has a zipper like, that goes around at the top. So if I wanted to, I could always put change in these sections since it zips up. On the other side, if I open it up, then I have the part where I can put my cards, my ID, and it opens up where you can put your, your bill. So it's like a bill fold. Do people still say that? It was $600. And it, this was also vintage, so it was not brand new. I, I did a search online and I saw one or two of these. I saw one on the real real if I'm not mistaken and maybe fashion for but what I'll do just in case anyone was interested in a wallet like this is I'll do a search and I'll try to link whatever I find as close as possible to this one. So I'll show you in a cutaway this pants that I'm wearing with this little cropped bandeau top. This was from Anetta Stories and I got this I think last year in the beginning of spring last year it's a little big for me guys i always find myself having to pull it up <laughs> anyway so this pants is it may appear black but it's not it's actually like an indigo blue it's by made in tomboy i got this from motor operandi it is the chris rigid high rise straight leg jeans now guys this pants is originally 345 dollars and i saved 75 percent got 75% off plus an additional 21%. So I ended up paying like $67 for the pants. I loved the way it looked on the model. I'll try to insert a photo of that for you guys so you can see. But I didn't expect that it would fit me the way it fit me. I thought it would come higher up first of all. I thought it would fit me a little more narrow in the waist. I do have a size 6, uh, which is a size 20 a waist 28 so I really just thought that because my waist is about 27 so I thought that it would fit me a little better so this is very oversized but I still love it what really drew me to the pants was the pockets I just love that they're outside instead of inside and it's a vibe the pants is a vibe so for how I prefer to wear my jeans this was a little too long I want 
them to hit me just around my ankle. This one was pulling around my ankle and hitting the floor. So I don't want that. Another reason why that could have been happening though was because it's too big. So it's falling a little lower than it should fall. If it was fitting me more narrow in the waist, it would come up just under my belly button, which, and it wouldn't fall as low down. So I wore a pair of heels with them, my favorite cult guy shoes that, guys, those platforms, they're forever and ever and ever until they fall apart. I love them so much. I also ordered one more thing from Moda Operandi, but it's on back order. I am so excited. I'll actually, hmm. I may insert a photo of what it is. It's actually a swimsuit, guys. So I'm heading straight to summer. I'm bypassing spring because I feel like we're not going to have a real spring. Just how the weather has been. It usually jumps from very, very cold into super hot. And I feel like that's what's going to happen again this year. So I'm going to prepare for summer, guys. Whatever I have that works for, for spring, it will make do. So guys, I just took off the pants. I noticed something very unique. So I love that they pressed the seam down the pants. I think we're going to start to see a lot more of that. That whole like tailored looking type of style in jeans. And that's what this gives. At first when I saw it, I thought it was a regular dress pants. And then I looked a little closer and realized it was a jean. So I just noticed something really interesting after I took the pants off. They have the words, boy. <laughs> it's very small. It's almost not noticeable. So they're called Made in Tomboy. So I guess that is like their signature. Maybe it's something they do with their garments. Never heard of them before, but I will be on the lookout for their pieces again. Seeing that this one was so unique and different, I'm pretty sure that I'll find some other things that they have that I will like. I also pick up a few things from Shopo. I find that these Australian brands have some really beautiful summer pieces. I found so many things that were on sale that I needed to add to my wardrobe. Summer is coming guys. It's around the corner so I'm not wasting any time. I love these shorts. These shorts were on sale when I picked them up. I'll try to add the prices for you but for sure I'll be leaving the links. Hopefully these things are still available because they are on sale. Show po is an Australian brand that I'd never shopped with before but I've been seeing them around for a while so I saw this shorts on my sis styled by me Michelle she has such a beautiful wardrobe when I saw her in the shorts I just knew I needed to get the shorts so I ran over to Shopo and ran into these shorts and a few other things that I love as I mentioned before I'm shopping for summer I'm not shopping for spring so yeah, I love the way this pants face. I think that it makes my booty look nice. I like the little frill at the bottom. Easy. I think I picked this up in a size 6. Normally, I would have gone for a size 4 to make it fit a little bit more snug. So, it does have some room in my waist, which I like. And it's not like grabbing hold of me too tight. And I didn't want that like hold me tight type of look with this pants. I wanted it to look comfy, like I'm not trying. And it has pockets. I don't even know if I showed you guys that. It has pockets. I think that's Amazon. I'll be back. All right, guys. What do you think about this top? Now, the elastic is so tight. <laughs> it's so tight. Ah, oh, you like you're gonna cut your circulation with this thing. But it's gonna stay put wherever you put it. And now it's obviously meant to be on your wrist, so that's why it's going to be very tight if you pull it up. But I prefer it pulled up. And the shoulders are meant to be like slightly off your shoulder, but I actually prefer it up here. So you see what I did? I t like kind of like folded that shoulder over and tucked it under. Let me see if I can get it done again. So I kind of like did this with it. Oh, I have to pull the sleeve up in order to get it done properly. So yeah, I did that, right? I can, without doing anything else, create a different style by tacking this, just taking some white thread and a needle and doing that on both sides. Just lifting this up, folding it under 
and tack this right here and that will become a style you can see that it actually gave the top it gave the top more shape because i wasn't feeling it before and i do prefer for the sleeves to sit up like this when i pull it up right so what happens is if the sleeve if this comes down then the sleeves aren't going to stay up right so there you go you have to manipulate it a bit in order to get it to work and that's what i'm going to do i just recreated this top i mean it's a good top by itself as is but for the look that i'm going for honey i just took this from eight to 100 <laughs> just by doing that so it gives me more shape in my shoulders. It gives me almost like a wider looking shoulder when I do that, which is fine. If you widen your shoulder, if your shoulder, shoulder, eh, I can't get the word shoulders. Say. If you make your shoulders look appear wider, your waist starts to look more narrow. Cause there's like a V you're creating that look of a V. So yeah, I like it. The last is going to cut my circulation and that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to deal with it because that's where I want it to be. I'm going to try to stretch the elastic a little bit though. If I keep tugging it, I don't know if that's going to work, but yeah, I'll try. But that's how I'm going to wear it. So guys, this is not a styling video. This is just me showing you guys what these things look like as I take them out of the packages. I hadn't tried any of these things on before. So you guys are getting to see the look at the same time that I'm getting to see the look. I also don't mind buttoning it all the way up. Doesn't look bad, but it look kind of stuffy. Cause I want to give it more like a summer chill vibe. So I'd open up the buttons a bit, even the other one. I could just cle keep one button closed and keep the others open. Just relaxed, that kind of relaxed feel. All right. On to the next. Uh, let me tell you what size I got in this. So, Got to remind myself of the size. Oh, this is a US size 4. This top is cute. I like her. She could work. And she actually works with this. The mixing of the patterns. Because they're florals. They kind of like tying together. This has green. But and a little bit of like hint of yellow and brown. While this also has a little bit of hint of yellow and brown. Or maybe that's just like gold. Anyway, so it just kind of works with the shorts. I will be more than likely wearing it off the shoulder. But it can totally work on top. I actually made a top like this out of uh, Ankara fabric. I'll try to insert what that looks like. I made it with a matching skirt. So this is a very simple, easy to make top. You just add elastic around the top, elastic around the bottom, add two strings on the inside, put some elastic on the sleeves, and you're good to go. It's a, it's a vibe. So this is a size 4. I would have shown you guys on the screen. I should have done that with the other pieces when I were, was before I put them on. But yeah, I like it. Nice and cool. Ready for the summer. You can wear this with a pair of jeans. You can wear this with another pair of shorts. You can wear it with a skirt. You can wear it with so many things. Guys, the top is a vibe. And if you catch me looking at the side, it's because my I'm using a different camera. So I film a one camera for my try-ons and stuff. And I do my voiceover on a different camera. But today I'm using the same camera. This one searches for my face. So it sometimes makes this weird noise. Like a weird noise. But I love it. I love this camera. This is my DSLR. This is the camera that I take most of my videos for like my for my branded content. I usually use this so if it's something that is going on Instagram for a brand this is the camera I use because it's it just picks up everything so vibrant and so bright the vlogging camera is a vlogging camera it's really not meant for like you know commercials but it's a good camera and it doesn't make the noise it doesn't search for your face like that even though it, it does it can't search for your face because that's a face finder but it doesn't like you don't hear that noise I found myself looking at the mirror lens rather than looking at you guys like straight ahead. The top is a vibe. I love her so much. I could have had an extra piece of fabric. Just a little bit more for the cleavage for the boobs. But because of my size, I'm not going, it's going to be generic. So it's cut for a size 4, which I am. But to cover the boobs, I would have needed like maybe an extra half an inch or so on both sides. A little bit more covered up. 
but it's all right. So yeah, I showed you it down, like off the shoulder and up. I would love to wear it off the shoulder because that's my preference. But I actually don't mind it like this. The problem with wearing it off the shoulder is that it doesn't have structure. So this is cut like a bustier, but it's not, it doesn't have the bone in that a bustier would have that will help it to stay up. So I think I'm going to end up wearing it up because I'm not going to want to be tugging at this every time I wear it, you know. I may put some double-sided tape here so that this stays down when I wear it rather than having it like shift, which has been happening. Hopefully that will be enough to make it work. But I loves it. I loves it. I don't even think that the sleeves, like the shoulders are meant to come in this narrow. I think it's meant to be really off the shoulder. So I'm creating my own style with it, y'all. Favorite purchases is this bag. When I was in Barbados this last December, I saw this bag in Lime Grove in a boutique there. Could not get it out of my mind. I decided to give it a wait, like wait a bit, and then go back to the mall. You know, one more time. And I passed that bag so many times because I went to Lime Grove a few times. That's where we go for dinner. We was debated. Rose, beautiful restaurant that we go to there. Then there's Michael Hines, you know, that's our friend. We love to always support the people, you know, and we love his food as well. There goes my alarm. I, th the final time I went was the week before I was com coming back to the US and the bag was gone. Now there were several other bags by the brand in that boutique. But none of them were as big and none of them were calling my name like this one. Now, I love that this bag has the outside pockets. I love all the extra pockets on the inside. And then the outside pocket is actually two pockets. One has a flap and then one is the open up. Then there is genuine leather straps. So I loved the bag the minute I saw it. The thing is, the one that I saw in the mall was a lighter color like a raffia color i will insert a photo of it i picked this brown one not just because brown is very much trending because it was on sale i said what the original price is like 450 this was on sale for like 237 it was a no-brainer for me this is the same bag just a different color the other color is probably more popular for the summer because you know that light raffia fabric is usually what you see in the summertime 237 versus four something i did the math and the math was not mathing for me to get that on for four something just because of the lighter color i can always get another bag very similar in a lighter color at some point but i really wanted this bag for when i'm traveling especially if i'm going on a tropical vacation somewhere this is the bag I'm going to be taking with me. So when I want to go to the beach or something, I can use this as my beach bag, but it will also double as my carry-on bag. And I really wanted a bag that would have the outer pockets because I could slip my passport in here, I could slip my phone in here, I could slip a whole bunch of stuff that I can just grab quickly without having to open up and dig and look for something. Plus, even if I wanted to use the pockets out of Inside and the inside are very high at the top, so it's easy to get your hands in there as well. And do you see the size of this thing? I can almost get in here. <laughs> so big. It's so big. So this is perfect for traveling. The brand is I bel I believe. And I don't know that um that is how it's pronounced. It's spelled I B E L I V. I will put it on the screen for you. When while I was in Barbados, I checked the name of the brand and I went online and I realized that the prices there were equivalent to what was being sold elsewhere. So they were also selling it for four and change. And this was meant to be. This bag in this color was meant to be. Okay, I love this bag. I can't wait to go somewhere. So I can pack it. Okay, I can't wait to go to the beach so I can carry it. All of the things. The poolside. Like, yeah. I love her. I went crazy. I went crazy shopping for sunglasses. I started to get a little bored with the ones I have. It was time to invest in a few more. And when I say invest, I use that word lightly because 
most of them are very affordable now sat's office had a sale still probably do have that sale if i'm not mistaken on sunglasses in fact on a lot of things so i picked up two pairs from there and then the others are from amazon i think i may have also ordered some from free people that didn't arrive yet while i was filming earlier the amazon truck came and dropped off some of the sunglasses so they arrived right on time so i just got these today as well by the way i got all of these sunglasses in today these are karen walker this is a very huge sunglass case i mean i like the fact that it's kind of flat but it's a pretty big sunglass case but it looks like the logo that they use is like arrows even the cleaning cloth has an arrow just, just just let me show you the glasses first before i put them on aren't they beautiful they also have the arrow on the outside absolutely love the color i feel like i ordered some other stuff in this color so i i'm in my gold yellow era more arrows I love them so much. These are given she's grown and confident. Like these. Ugh, Karen Walker. How am I now learning about you? How am I now learning about you? <sighs> All right, guys. I love them. Next from Sats Fifth. These are by Todd's. So the Todd's, I like them. But I'm not in love with them. But I like them. Because they're the shape that I love. The aviator, like aviator. I like that frame. I love that so much. And they're leopard. Sorry. <laughs> leopard print. <laughs> Tortoise shell. I love leopard print. So maybe that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, they're this beautiful tortoise shell. With a green lens. And yeah, they're not as outstanding as the Karen Walkers, but... Mm, they're giving me a manly vibe. Don't know why. I think I'm going to ask Sergei to try them on. Maybe they'll look better on him. But I like them. They don't look bad on me. I've not put on a pair of sunglasses that I thought looked horrible on me. But then there are some that are better than others, so... Let's move on to Amazon. We've got the blue blocker. I wanted a pair of white sunglasses. Amazon baby. Love the yellow. And this pair, Jay also has. And when he put his on, I was like, oh my God, I need these on my doors. Jesus trying to film this video and I've been interrupted so many times y'all the door Amazon the phone Jay Jay got these ones he saw them on Amazon and liked the shape so he ordered them and once he put them on I was oh, once he put them on I knew I needed to have a pair for myself so I got the same color and everything now they have a lot of different sh um, color variations and they're all nice but baby seriously guys Amazon is where it's at I lose sunglasses like crazy two pairs of Alisa Johnson sunglasses the aviator ones that has like the tortoise shell that everyone has a pair of I'll insert what they look like here I bought those wore them in Costa Rica went horseback riding and why when I got back from horseback riding, I don't have the sunglasses. Funny enough, I ha the thing is, I had them on the entire time. And it's when the rain started to like pelt down, y'all. I took them off and I thought I had them in my top pocket. But the horses weren't like galloping and riding in a crazy way where I felt they would have fallen off. I feel like I took them off because we were drying off after the rain. Were fall after we were soaking the rain, we were drying off at the restaurant that we stopped at. And I may have taken them and put them on the table. But yeah, never, never to be seen again, y'all. Oh, I'm trying to spend less on sunglasses. And I cannot invest that much money in sunglasses anymore when I'm going to toss them away. 
this is probably the third pair of I would say high-end sunglasses that I've lost if in the last few years and no these look so good though back to this these I love so so much y'all gonna see me these a lot this summer more gold <laughs> listen Money needs to hit me on my hand if I go attempt to order another pair of sunglasses in this color. And I probably have. I probably have, guys. In fact, I know I have. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, y'all. But I like the color and I like how it looks on me. It looks so beautiful against my skin. I mean, it's just perfect on my skin tone, guys. But these, my friends... Of all of, between these and the Karen Walker are going to be my favorite sunglasses. Get into them. Get into them. Like, come on, let me take them off so you guys can really look at them closely. I love them. It's that simple. <laughs> Guys, why I look like Jay want my glasses though? He didn't see these ones when he was sending me links. These are so good. They're so good. Anyway, guys, I thank you. I don't think that I'll be back on. Yeah, I don't think I'm coming on again for the rest of the day. And I don't know that I'll be on tomorrow. So I'm gonna say go my so I'm gonna say my goodbyes now. Thank you all so much. I hope that you enjoyed the little try on at the end here. I know you guys love fashion. I know that you're all in, are enjoying like coming to work with me, spending the days with me. And I appreciate you guys so much because listen, I sometimes feel like I'm not doing a lot and how do I say I don't want to use the word entertaining, but I want to make the videos in a way that is pleasing to you guys that you guys will enjoy them all right so i'm gonna continue to bring you the looks as much as i possibly can because i know you guys love it for those who've already given me a thumbs up thank you so very much and if you're new a warm welcome to you thank you for subscribing to the channel and for joining the fam y'all i appreciate all of you so so much i appreciate all of you for liking for commenting for communicating with me i I love it when you guys talk to me because I don't want to feel like I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, and that's kind of why it feels like when you're talking to a camera, but I know you guys are listening and I know that you guys are going to respond. So let me know which of the items I just showed you was your favorite, which of the sunglasses are your favorite. Are these ones your favorite? Between these and a carrying worker, which one would you say is your favorite? For yourself or on me, doesn't really matter. Just tell me which one you love the most. And that's that, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.